Welcome back to Ice Bites. I'm Carter Naki, and no, I'm not dead. With the new year comes new hope for the Phoenix Coyotes. Oh, happy new year, by the way. But 2014 offers a lot for Coyotes fans to be excited about. Captain Shane Doan is back from a long-term absence after coming down with Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Seriously, is there anything odder than missing a month because of a tick bite? And five, you got it, five Yotes leave the desert next month to represent their country in the Olympics. Those five are Zbynik McCulloch representing the Czech Republic, Martin Hansel also representing the Czechs. Lori Korpakowski will take the ice for Finland. It's no shock that Oliver Ekman Larsen will pull on the gold and blue for Sweden. But the guy I'm most excited for is Mike Smith, who will play for his native Canada. Now, Smitty will be backing up Vancouver's Roberto Luongo and Montreal's Carey Price. If I'm coaching Canada, which I am clearly not, I roll Price out as my starter, keep Luongo as a backup, and let Smith enjoy the view. At least at first. However, Smith has experienced net mining on the larger ice and could make a run at the backup slot. But honestly, who cares? Making an Olympic roster is an honor for any athlete, especially one whose wife has skied for Team Canada. He likely won't see much ice time, if any at all, but it's nice to see Smith, who leads the league in shots faced and saves made this season, rewarded. Hell, it's nice to see five Coyotes on any Olympic roster. After all, according to fans around the league, Phoenix really just has no talent. Hey Winnipeg, how are the four guys you're sending to Sochi on? And after that cheap shot, let's call it a show. To check out more of my opinions, head over to ArizonaSports.com and my blog, Off the Ice. For breaking Coyotes news, analysis, and bad jokes, follow the blog's Twitter feed at AZ. To get to know me a little better, including my weird obsession with bad TV, like really bad TV, follow my personal feed at Carter Naki, and I'll see you next week.